We got a new battery. Let's open it up. And apparently this is a 24 volt, 100 amp hour from JSD Solar. All right, and there's the battery. Indeed, JSD Solar, 24 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. It says uh, 6,000 plus cycles. In the manual, it says it has over voltage, low voltage, over current, over temperature, low temperature, and short circuit protection. So it, it says it has low temperature protection here in the manual. We can do four in parallel and we can do two in series. And let's get a weight on this. We have come in at 46.4 pounds. All right, and we're gonna charge this guy up. And while I was hooking up the charger, I noticed these. Can you see that? I believe these are going to be screws underneath that, which makes me so happy because whenever I go to disassemble this battery, it's going to be so much easier. Those may actually be glued in there because I'm not having any success getting that out. Yeah, I don't know if it was glued, but I think there's this orange paint and I think that uh, made it to where it was sticking in there. But yeah, you can see there's uh, screws in there. So this is going to be easy to open up. All right, the battery is fully charged and now we're going to do a capacity test. So let's turn on the inverter. There we go. Running the little heater as the load. And we're pulling about 43 amps. Uh, 1.15 kilowatts. All right, so we'll just let that run and we'll see what we get. All right, guys, so the inverter started complaining at around 2%. Uh, we got it like maybe 1.5% to go. So we're at 98.6. Might be able to squeeze some more out if I use something with a lesser load. Let's see if I can find something. So we're going to plug this box fan in. Let's see if we can get some more out here. Okay, so we got the fan going. See if we can continue on. Okay, so we're down to 1% now. We got 99 amp hours, 2,508 watt hours. I'm gonna let that continue on. Hopefully we can get to 100%, we'll see. Oh man, that's annoying. Yeah, so it's screaming over here. And uh, we're at 99.3 amp hours, 2,514 watt hours. So not quite there. We only have a little bit more to go. I'm gonna let it keep going. All right guys, so the inverter finally cut the load off. So I guess we're done. <laughs> All right, so we didn't quite make it. We got down to 1%. We got down, we're basically missing half an amp hour. <laughs> Super close, but not quite there. All right, so let's open this up. We got like a bracket system in here. That's very nice. Uh, so there's our case. <laughs> Big piece of fiberboard. I think that was in front of the cells. So here's our cells. They look very long, uh, much longer than what we're used to seeing. But we've got 
bolted down bus bars. We haven't seen that in a while. Usually we're seeing laser welded, but these have bolts on them. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I do like to see that because I don't know, as a DIYer, we, we like to take things apart. Maybe we'd want to take our these cells apart, reconfigure, or even replace cells or something like that. It's just a nice thing to have. But uh, they did the cable routing here very nice. I mean, this thing is built super clean. And then on the other side here where the sense leads are super clean. Here's our BMS. What do we got here? We have a JBD BMS. That's awesome. So it's a 100 amp JBD. Uh, not a smart BMS or anything like that, but it is in fact a JBD. Now, unfortunately, I only see a high temperature cutoff switch. I am not seeing a thermal probe for low temp protection. And in the manual, you know, it did say a low temperature under the protection section. Uh, so, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I just see this high this high temperature switch right here. It's kind of in a spot here where it's not really coupled directly to a cell. It's coupled to this metal frame. It really should be touching a cell, to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't see. I don't see a term. I don't see a thermal probe. But this frame is pretty impressive. Let's see what we got here. We got fiberboard around all sides of the cells. We got fiberboard between each cell. And then we've got a fiberboard uh, underneath this retaining bracket here. We do have our we do have holes cut out for each one of these vent holes. The build quality is excellent. Uh, the QR codes on the cells are perfectly intact. We'll see if we can scan them. Okay, we finally got a scan. <laughs> but uh, it's a it's an unknown manufacturer it's a cell cell type is lithium iron phosphate the model code is unknown the capacity and the energy is unknown the city is unknown we got a factory line of one we've got a factory task order of 10 and a number of cells produced are 3,155. Yeah, so I think the thing with these cells is they, they're, they're longer, but they're shorter. You know, normally I guess we would see them with the terminals up here and have them taller than they are wider, but these are just kind of the opposite. They're, they're more wide than they are tall. It's a solid design, no doubt. I'm a little bummed out it didn't quite hit full capacity. I mean, we were just, like I said, like half an amp hour away. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for the JSD solar battery video. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think about this, and I'll catch you on the next one.